What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Ericsson ratchet tie-down straps with double J hooks and floating rings. These are going to be about an inch wide and they are going to be about 15 foot long so it's plenty of length to be able to get my four-wheeler tied down properly. We have two different ways we can tie this down. I'm going to do it one way on the back and one way on the front. The, one, the way I'm going to do it on the front or on the back is just normal. I'm just going to take the little hitch here, just hook these in just like that. And it is not a coated double J hook. The J hooks are plated with a chromate plating, just like the actual tie down or the ratchet strap itself. So it is going to be extremely hard and durable, going to be able to resist against all that rust and corrosion over time. And we have plenty of strap to be able to strap all this down. This is only about a seven and a half foot trailer wide, which is gonna be perfect for what we're using today. Half the battle is just having the right ratchet strap for what you guys are tying down. Safety is a big thing with us here at eTrailer. And what we're using today, these are gonna have a working load limit of a thousand pounds each and a brake strength of about 3,000 pounds. So between our four ratchet straps that we're gonna have on this four-wheeler, it's about 700 pounds. So we're well over the limit we need to achieve to tie down properly. And as you guys can see, we do have quite a bit of excess still. So we can do whatever you guys really like to do. We have a bunch of different types of products that will kind of take care of all this leftover strap. You can find those here at eTrailer. Well, I have it all tied down in the back, but we're gonna go a different route for the front. I'm gonna use the floating rings. These are gonna be great for any kind of equipment where we don't necessarily want to scratch whatever we're tying it down to. With the chromate plating on these double J hooks, they're really, really strong, but a little too strong, in my opinion, sometimes. So. It's gonna be stronger than the metal that we are connecting it to. So what I'm gonna do is just feed it through this little loop and then hook it on that floating ring. Pull it nice and tight. This way, all we have is just strap touching our frame there. There might be a little bit of metal touching, but definitely not near as much as it would if we didn't use the floating rings. It's just something I like to do just because I have a dirt bike and I always tie down with the handlebars and you can see my handlebars are all scuffed up. Nothing's really gonna beat the, uh, the chromate plating. It's just really, really hard, tough stuff, which is good and same with the ratchet strap. So they're gonna resist against everything. So you don't have to worry about them kind of seizing up over time but they are relentless against your guys' equipment. So I definitely like the floating D-ring. And we can actually go ahead and do the same exact thing for the trailer if we really wanted to. Kind of loop it around if we really, really wanted to. I'm not gonna use it today just because I don't really have the best situation for it, but it has it on both sides, which I really like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do that. And we can go ahead and strap it down. These aren't massive straps. So these aren't gonna be for your big, big, big jobs, but probably will get your toys to and fro. And the lever isn't really too big and it isn't coated. If that's something you guys are looking for. These are not gonna be the ones for you just because it is a little bit tougher on your hands compared to some of the others we sell. We sell so many ratchet straps so definitely figure out what you guys are gonna be hauling and then pick accordingly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit and tie the rest of the rig down. And then we should be good. Now with everything properly tied down, we have four straps, two in the front, two in the back. In the front, I use the floating rings, which I really like just to protect my equipment. And this is gonna be great for all the other equipment you guys have between the four that we have about 4,000 pounds of working load limit between all four. 
It's plenty for this. It's gonna be pretty much good for all your guys' side-by-sides. It's gonna be great for the lawn mower equipment, some of the lawn equipment that you guys may have, stuff like that. Just make sure you guys are hauling safely and have enough straps strapping down your equipment to be good. Between the four, we're great. We have the option for the floating D-rings that I did up front, but also around back, we just hooked them up normal. It's all up to you guys. Honestly, I just recommend just getting straps that have the floating rings just because you have that option. Well, everyone, that just about does it for a look at the Ericsson ratchet tie-down straps with double J hooks and floating rings. And remember, always haul safely.